So uh, we will calculate aquifer model here using a simple one. Uh, we have uh, many uh, water and flux modeling here. So uh, you can see in water and flux, uh, we have uh, Hearst Van Everton and Vitkovic with both semi and steady car Carter Tracy. And now I will use small bot aquifer model using Excel sheets. Uh, by using uh, a very simple equation, uh, it, will, it will work with our case uh, here because I don't need to uh, make that uh, uh, very complex uh, because I need to understand the basics of how material balance works and how can apply the history matching technique. But uh, must, you must be understand what aquifer model uh, cannot be used for uh, uh, just only this assumption of this method only for small aquifers here and uh, noting this model is independent of time uh, yes we can see here this equation uh, depends on the water and rock expansion of the aquifers so i cannot uh, use this here uh, or i cannot predict the right value of water compressibility and rock compressibility for the um, for our aquifer because we have high uncertainty in this area we don't have any wells in our aquifer so uh, it will be predicted and uh, changed uh, to uh, then we compare that with our history magic and uh, uh, also in this equation uh, independent of time and that's mean uh, when, when the pressure is dropped in our reservoir immediately the water and flux invaded into the reservoir affected by water and rock expansion uh, but that uh, will not work with our if we have a strong water and flux like in our case in our case uh, when we have a huge volume or a strong aquifer we cannot uh, use both aquifer model because um, it will need a time so in this both aquifer model we, we don't have any time uh, maybe uh, we know we can immediately have when the pressure is dropped how much volume invaded that work with uh, small foot uh, small aquifers but when I have large aquifer that mean I need uh, more time to invade it into the reservoir so uh, the time must be uh, invo involved in the uh, model but that's the assumption of put aquifer model. Other methods uh, like uh, Vitkovic and Hertz van Everden, uh, if you uh, see the uh, equation, you can find the time and that uh, will work with you. But here I, uh, I will use this put aquifer model uh, to just only to see how can we apply it and compare it with if we don't have any aquifer. Uh, in this method, it depends on how much initially volume of uh, water in the aquifer. We need to calculate the, uh, uh, the total, uh, like uh, original or place. We need to calculate the original or initially water in place. How much volume of water in the aquifer? By using this symbol, uh, we need to use aquifer radius and uh, aquifer reservoir. The difference between them act as a ratio. <coughs> Then I need to calculate the thickness, that the thickness of aquifer. So if you can see here in, in that software, uh, I got many assumption uh, questions about this. Uh, Bell assume, assume here reservoir thickness. That's not mean you need uh, the reservoir thickness in material balance equation. We don't see any thickness, but I need this number to calculate the water influx. Okay, that's very important about that. So uh, all these, uh, uh, we can check that again uh, to see the if I use small bots. Aquifer volume, what's the mean of aquifer volume here? It's need the initial volume. Uh, it must be first guess for the first assumption. We need to enter this value, initial volume. This is the initial volume in million because uh, until now we don't uh, have any information about aquifer, especially this number. Uh, we know the reservoir radius, but we don't know the aquifer radius. The aquifer radius is out of reservoir radius and must be 
larger than uh, reservoir radius. So I am not sure about this value. I don't know where the end of boundary of aquifer. So it must be predicted here and initially calculated. Also the thickness. So if you enter, uh, for example, here in Embed software, one or two million uh, cubic feet, that means uh, you use this equation to calculate the aquifer and porosity uh, for this number. And then you can edit these numbers and uh, we will work with that in Excel sheet. And uh, if factor, what's the mean of if factor? That's the encroachment angle divided by uh, the degree of uh, 360 degree. Uh, that means if we have uh, affecting by uh, the reservoir uh, is uh, faulting, have faultings or ceiling fault. So you have to use the encroachment angle. Uh, then, uh, after calculating this initially and if and the uh, pressure difference between initial and uh, after the pressure is dropped, uh, you can uh, calculate how much volume of water invaded into the reservoir. So, I will start by calculating the initial volume of water in aquifer, uh, applying this equation. So, what I need here. I have an aquifer uh, information, reservoir radius, that's the reservoir radius, uh, aquifer ratio uh, equal to, that's the assumption, I need to, you must focus on this. What's the mean of two? That's mean the aquifer radius uh, larger than reservoir radius twice, or the size is twice an aquifer more than a reservoir, okay? Uh, we cannot, uh, by using aquifer model, but aquifer model, I cannot assume this value will be, for example, 10 or 20. Why? Because that means when I say 20, that means the aquifer size is larger than reservoir 20 times. And that uh, will not work because a huge volume, a, a huge area of aquifer, that means we need more time uh, for this, but um, uh, here in um, this model, but aquifer, I don't need to use a huge volume because if I do that, that's mean a huge wrong assumption. This. So uh, also in aquifer radius, here in aquifer radius, that uh, depends on this value. Okay, so uh, if I have a ratio of two, uh, when I multiply by this uh, reservoir radius, will give us aquifer radius. Okay. So here, in, uh, I assume aquifer porosity because I don't have any information about aquifer porosity, how uh, the value and uh, the thickness also of aquifer, I don't know, but I assume it. I assume this number and this number. And also water influx and rock compressibility, it will be assumed. And the encroachment angle 100 degree. Uh, 100 degree, that means um, our reservoir, if that's, uh, I can, uh, that's the, uh, I will assume that's the, our reservoir, our reservoir uh, act as a uh, circle, so uh, the reservoir radius from a center point here, this is the value and the aquifer, it will be just the reservoir radius and that's the aquifer radius okay the aquifer radius i don't know where is the boundary or end of aquifer uh, that's the water invaded into the reservoir from all of the sides or from part so when i assume uh, encroachment angle 100 percent that means uh, 100 degrees sorry uh, that means uh, i have a fault here and that depends on the uh, geological information. So if I assume uh, we have one fault uh, like this for our reservoir and I can predict the water comes from this side, so the degree will be uh, uh, 180 degree because this is the straight line, so this is the angle. And uh, 
when I say uh, 100 degree, that means I have a two because it will be less than 100. So maybe the value of I have uh, two faults here. So this is the degree of water comes from the side just only from the side but I I don't know uh, if uh, the we have a fault here I need to use if I use <coughs> uh, 30 and uh, 380 that means we don't have any fault and or, uh, the water comes from all uh, the size of the reservoir okay so the first uh, equation I need to generate here it's this equation calculating the how much initially volume in a place that means here's the water in this uh, area so I need to use this equation uh, by uh, minus r uh, aqua radius minus reservoir radius so when I uh, minus these together it will give us the difference here in the aqua volume that's here and we have OA so and here we need to calculate the initial water in place uh, it will be calculated by using this equation here. So we can see here if I increase the angle, uh, for example, uh, if this value will be very, very high. Uh, yes. Uh, still, I don't uh, use any, so I need to use the fraction. Yes. Uh, here, an in initial volume. And I need to use uh, if, if it's very important because uh, it will give us where is the area uh, or where is the side of water and flux. So if I use, uh, for example, uh, the, the mean of water uh, comes from all the sides. So the initial volume will be from all the sides. If I decrease this to one, uh, the, this value will be decreased for uh, uh, less than this number. That's depend on the uh, uh, fraction here of uh, volumes. So uh, now I need to use 100 and uh, this is the first step. I have uh, water and uh, I have uh, uh, rock uh, reservoir radius and aqua radius and all of these information porosity and I can apply. Then I use modifying encroachment angle factor that I calculated divided by angle divided by 38 30 and uh, 360 degree sorry 60 degree so I can use this encroachment angle divided by 360 degree give us 0 0.27778 if uh, the encroachment angle uh, comes from the all the size so f will be equal to 1 I don't need to use it. Now I need to calculate the pressure drop at each step. Initial pressure minus P. Here I have uh, the pressure data. So I can use uh, initial. The first one. Initial will be fixed. Minus P. Assume the average reservoir pressure at oil water contact. So uh, I can see here the difference. Uh, the pressure is uh, this is the delta B. Uh, delta B means uh, when the pressure drops, that means how much volume at each step of a pressure changes. Uh, so all of that, all of the, this equation affecting by uh, the change of a pressure. Uh, calculate constant key, uh, K, K equal to rock and water compressibility, multiply by initial water, then uh, this is the total change uh, in uh, rock and water expansion, and uh, that's the general equation I need to use all of this. So I calculated here, multiply uh, water and rock compressibility for our aquifer, uh, multiply by initial volume then uh, using factor F. Yes, I don't need to use here F. 
Yeah, sorry if that's a mistake uh, because I multiplied here. So don't uh, do that if you follow my steps. Uh, if you use it here, multiply here, don't use it, but I uh, applied here. Uh, the last step, I need to calculate the water influx, how much volume invaded from our aquifer into the reservoir. Uh, all of this will affect by change in the pressure, delta B. So, equal K multiplied by delta B. First one is will be equal to zero. Then I can um, have this number. What a mistake I made here. Oh, sorry. I have to K uh, constant, it's going change. Delta B just only Um, okay, I calculate how much volume at each step uh, we can see here. This is the, uh, the water uh, influx at each point. So I need to use uh, cumulative, calculate the cumulative, uh, this number plus this number. I will get this. So uh, plus, yeah. Uh, these two numbers will give us the cumulative oil, cumulative water. So this is the total volume of water invaded into the reservoir. I need to plot this uh, with the yeah. I can. I need to see how much volume. Okay. I can see now how much volume of water. What? Aquifer model. A huge volume. I am very interested about this. I barrel. Yeah, yeah. Time here. Oh. I hope uh, this can help me in history matching technique. Uh, how much volume? Total volume of water. I need to. How many million? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, still uh, I didn't reach to 1 million uh, of cumulative water, but about um, 915,000 of water. Yeah, but I, I am very interested about how the, the, the care of like this water, or oh, I need to see how much the value of original of this. That's uh, okay, now I have this assumption by using these methods. So, what if I uh, need to increase the value of uh, aquifer porosity? Aquifer porosity. Okay, maybe I need to use. Uh, I need to use uh, more. I need to assume more volume of water. So I need to use uh, 0.20. So look with me here. Uh, now the value. The last depends on the aquifer porosity point. 12 so uh, about uh, 900 uh, and uh, 15000 so when i get this okay oh 1 million and yeah uh, 1.2 million i increase it why because i increase the aqua so if i increase the thickness uh, i hope more oh yes yeah, three. Yeah, three. Uh, the twice increase the aquifer from uh, 50 uh, feet to 100 feet. The value of water influx the cumulative total at the end time it's three million barrel of water invaded into the reservoir. So what if I increase the ratio to 2.5, let's see, I hope more, oh, more, more, more volume and fit into the reservoir, yeah, 5.3 million. What if I increase the encroachment angle 
to be 200 degree oh more than more than 10 yeah 10 million so uh, 10 million water uh, invaded into the reservoir at the end of 2008 that's very good I will depend on the first assumption about this and I will use this plot now so I need to calculate the last step after calculating the cumulative water so I started by initially volume uh, F and uh, delta B and K and water of max. Now, I need to calculate the original oblast uh, number three. If you remember with me, graphical method by using this relation, uh, I will put this in Y and that in X, and the uh, intercept will be the original oil in place. I will use this now by depend on these values, okay? Uh, maybe I have high uncertainty in this value, but uh, if sure, uh, of course, I am in, uh, I am interested about, uh, because I in our analysis here, we have uh, from our aquifer, uh, we, from our blood, we decided we have an aquifer. So I will assume this result is uh, good. So I need to calculate how much oil in place. Um, what the next plot I need to generate here? Okay, maybe I need to use this here. 